Hey everyone, so today we're going to get started on two-step equations. And to do that, we're going to take a look at this scale. Uh, now this scale is balanced. So if a scale is balanced, what does that tell us about each of the sides of the scale? Parker? The sides are equal. The sides are equal, great. So on this side, we have 10, let's just say one pound blocks. Uh, so if this is 10 pounds, this should also weigh how much? Tons. 10 pounds. 10 pounds, perfect. Now on this left side here though, we see that there are four one pound blocks that look just like these kinds of blocks. But then we also have two X blocks that we don't know the weight of. And our job is to find how much each of those X blocks weigh. To do that, we're going to write an equation. Now, let's start on this left side. We have two X blocks. So how would we write that out mathematically? Chris? Two X. Two X, perfect. And then what else do we have on that left side? <coughs> Parker? Four one pound blocks. Four one pound blocks, so how would we write that? Plus four. Plus four, awesome. Now on this side, what did we say we had? Thomas? 10. 10. And if they're equal, if they weigh the same amount, then what should go in between? Equal sign. Equal sign. Perfect. Now, does everyone understand how we got to this point? How we got our equation? Yeah. Perfect. And at any point, if you guys have any questions, just raise your hand. We'll make sure we're on the same page. Now, to find x, we're going to have to isolate it. We're going to have to get it by itself. Uh, to do that, there's these four one-pound blocks that we don't want, right? Because we want to just focus on the x's. Now, let's imagine we just took them off. Would the scale still be balanced if we just took those off? No. What would happen to the scale? The right side would become heavier. The right side would tip over like this, right? And this would become heavier. So if we take four off from there, what do we also have to do from here? Take four off. Take four off. Perfect. <coughs> now, if we just <coughs> took four off, what kind of operation is that? Taking away? Subtraction. Subtraction. Thank you, Thomas. So we take four off from here. We take four off from here. So what happens here? Four minus four is? Zero. Zero. So that <coughs> is gone now. And then 10 minus four is? Six. Six. Perfect. Now, we're just looking for one of those x's, right? We don't want both of them. We just want the value of one of them. So to do that, we, go, we can go back to our scale, and we just need half of what's here, right? Um, so what's half of two? One. One, right? So we want to take off this, but if we take off half from here, then we also have to take off half from this side too, right? So what's half of six? Three. Three. So we'll take half off from here as well. And now what are we left with? X equals how much? Three. Three, Three right? Now, let's make sure that we show that with our equation as well. Uh, so we took half of what was on this left side, and we took <coughs> half of what was on this right side. Now, half of two is? One. Is one x, so we can just write that as x. And then half of six is three, three right? So there we have our answer, x equals three. Now, when dealing with these two-step equations, one of the most important things we're going to have to remember, and you're going to hear me saying over and over again, is that if you do something to one side, you have to do it to the other. Uh, we took off four from that side, so we also took off four from the other side, and we took half of the one side, and so we had to take half from the other side. And so this is how we work with two-step equations. And to remember that, I made this little jingle, and it might sound a little funny, but I think it'll help us remember. Um, and it goes a little something like this. So with the given information, write out the equation, just like we did, then we isolate x, but don't forget what you do to one side, also do to the other, or else you'll be lost like a ship without a rudder. And so you guys are gonna repeat after me. I'll say, I'll say the line, and then you just repeat after me, right? Right? With the given information, write out the equation. With the given information, write out the equation. Now isolate x, but don't forget. Now isolate x, but don't forget. What you do to one side, do to the other. What you do to one side, do to the other. Or else you'll be lost like a ship without a rudder. Or else you'll be lost like a ship without a rudder. Perfect. Awesome, guys. You guys did great.